United States has done it again, stuck out at Al-Qaeda and Al-Shabaab militant group responsible for the Nairobi mall attacks. Reports coming in suggest U.S. Navy SEALs have conducted raids in Somalia and Libya, but there are different accounts over the success of these raids. Some accounts say that at least one senior militant was killed in Somalia, while the other key Qaeda figure has been captured in Libya. Reports also say firefight lasted for more than an hour with helicopters called in for air support. The strike was a pre-dawn one on Saturday against foreign fighters in the Somalian town of Barave, aimed at the high-profile targets. There are reports that heavy gunfire woke up residents before dawn prayers. The American troops attacked two-story beachside hubs where foreign fighters lived, battling their way inside. The other mission in Libya apparently ended in the capture of Abu Anas al-Libi, suspected to have played a significant role in the 1988 bombings of American embassies in Tanzania and Kenya. Deputy Editor Shiv Arur joins us for more details. Shiv, tell us, what is the significance of this raid by the U.S. Navy SEALs? Uh, well, it's, uh, it's, it's another occasion when the U United, uh, United States has unleashed its most uh, potent weapon against uh, terrorists, uh, Amita, uh, where U.S. Navy SEALs in this pre-dawn raid have conducted an extremely daring assault uh, on the town of Barawe, which is a, which is a well-known town for a rallying point of Al-Shabaab fighters and leaders. Uh, and it's uh, just a few kilometers south of Mogadishu. It's a seaside town. Uh, this was apparently a villa. It was a seaside villa, uh, you know, owned and, um, and occupied by this unidentified uh, Al-Shabaab leader who, was, uh, who is reported to have been killed in this firefight. But like you said, there is no real confirmation on that. Now, Al-Shabaab, an affiliate of the Al-Qaeda, uh, you know, it, it, it's, it's been it's been very rapidly confirmed by U.S. security agencies as having right. been re responsible for the Nairobi raid. They also claimed responsibility for it. Uh, but the fact that the U.S. Navy SEALs have been unleashed so quickly, uh, you know, shows the urgency uh, that the U.S. has shown, uh, you know, in taking action for the Nairobi mall attack in which several, uh, you know, U.S. citizens, uh, you know, were also uh, uh, several U.S. citizens were also killed. The fact is that the, the, the fact that the U.S. Navy SEALs were unleashed both in Libya and in Somalia, two countries where the United States has suffered major setbacks, uh, you know, in, 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 the last, in the last few years, right. uh, means, means that uh, this is, uh, it, it's, a, it's a manifestation of the importance that the Obama administration is attaching to actually lashing out at terrorists very quickly, not leaving too much time to act, not leaving too much time to plan, but, you know, putting as little time as possible between a terrorist act and the act of revenge to make sure that the message goes out to the Al-Qaeda and the Al-Shabaab that uh, you know, U.S. forces and uh, your countries like Kenya cannot be taken for granted. Right there. Thank you, Shipp, for joining us for more details.